Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and this video is gonna be my more in-depth review of this Firefly 338 that I bought off of Amazon Prime for 140 bucks. I wanna say a month and a half ago now, two months ago, something like that. So anyways, I've had plenty of time to sit around with it, really get it figured out and get it wired, uh, figure out its cheers and its jeers, and get back to you guys and let you know what I think. Uh, when I bought this thing, like I said, two months ago, it sold out like a week after I got it. Um, so people have been sitting around waiting for more to come out. Who knows when you're watching this video, maybe there'll be some available. Maybe they, they won't be available at all. I don't know. I'll try my best to keep the links down below active so that uh, you can check out these guitars when they are available. So anyways, let's get into cheers and then I'll get into those jeers. Uh, and then I'll let you know whether or not this guitar is a bye 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 or a bye bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, love the color on this thing. Love the finish. I was just smitten the moment I took it out of the box. This this like kind of medium gold sparkle. It's got so much sparkle under lights and a really nice tonality to that gold there. I was honestly expecting to be disappointed when it arrived, expecting, you know, like a gold that was kind of greenish or like a bad glitter job or like not glittery at all, just kind of like a metallic sheen on a non-glitter coat of paint. But this thing is very attractive and very handsome in person. Like if you're looking for just like a wall hanger for your restaurant or something like that, you've got like a TGI Fridays and you need a guitar to hang on the wall, 140 bucks, that's cheap art right there. But it is a player's guitar too. I'm very happy with how this guitar plays. It's a very comfortable player. The neck is nice and full. It's not, you know, some sort of weird shape or anything like that. It doesn't feel cheap in your playing hand. It feels nice and the fretwork is decent. I've never been playing this thing and thought, oh man, that just feels really cheap right now. It feels like a decent guitar when you're playing it. The action is decent, the neck is nice and straight. Here, I'll play a little bit right now. I haven't found any dead spots across the, uh, the fretboard. It just plays. It's a $140 guitar that just plays. Uh, there are, two, I'll, I'll get into the jeers now. I think it's, fa it's fair to get into the jeers after I've said that the finish looks great, uh, at least this gold top here, and that it plays great. You know, I will say that I like the sound of the pickups too, that's a cheer, but there's also a jeer mixed into that, and I'll get to that in a second. So, big jeers, tuning stability is an issue with this guitar. The tuners feel really cheap. I haven't done anything yet to lubricate the nut, but I have a feeling that that would help if I can get some pencil graphite in there. Um, but the tuners feel jumpy, it's a little tricky getting it in tune, and then once it's in tune, uh, I mean, you, you kind of have like a range of like, two to four songs before you're tuning it again, after I've had this thing broken and that's kind of been my experience with it. Um, other jeers, uh, there are some finish issues. It's a $140 guitar. You have to be expecting it to not be perfect. Little things, just like how the paint has kind of like bunched up in the corners around the neck joint here, uh, on the back panel of the guitar that's not gold, you can see that just by looking at it. It's supposed to be like a reddish brown. There is gold sparkle floating in the clear coat back here. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, kind of a, a hilarious, like little finishing issue that shouldn't upset anyone for 140 bucks. Like if that upsets you, you should like seriously not be buying guitars this cheap. Um, other finishing issues. I can't think of any off the top of my head. That's just what I've noticed those couple things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the inlays, <laughs> the inlays, whatever, uh, you know, CNC or person with a template uh, routed them out, they routed out way bigger, well not way, but significantly bigger than they need to be. And there's just a visual line of dark resin or glue or something around these inlays to the point where you can see uh, the round kind of like circle shape of the bit that was used to route out these shapes at the corners of the inlays. I'll put some uh, close-ups here so you can see them. Um, so yeah, those are some big, well not big, those are those are some visual inconsistencies and jeers at the, uh, the finished quality of this thing. Uh, the next big jeer, and this is a big one. So let's go through this, pay attention, 
uh, really think about this before you buy this guitar. The pickups are microphonic. There are going to be people online in groups and whatnot who say that they're not microphonic, that it's just, you know, semi hollows are going to, you know, feed back easier and stuff like that. This is not a function of this being a semi hollow. These pickups are microphonic. And I can prove it. Um, here's what I'll do I'm going to put on a long delay here with a hot mix. And I'm going to shout into these pickups. We'll start with the neck and I'll move to the bridge. Micro. 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 And then to the bridge. Phonic. Phonic. <laughs> so that's proof right there of my voice being picked up by these pickups. I haven't, like I said, I haven't uh, used this live yet. I don't have a case for it. Um, I might just wrap it up in, you know, a towel and throw it in the backseat of my car so I can gig with it at some point. That might be an issue for the type of gigging I do, like church playing and stuff like that. I'm on a relatively silent stage. It probably won't be an issue. I'll have to figure that out. I'll probably bring a spare guitar with me when I do try this guitar out. Uh, a way I can prove right now that that, I, I feel like I need to prove it again and more in depth that it is the pickups, it's not the body of the guitar. So I'm gonna throw on a distortion. I'm gonna stand in front of the amps. I'm gonna have them turned up loud. And I'm gonna show you that when I press against the pickup, I can mute that feedback because it's a matter of this plate cover on the pickup uh, either not being wax potted or having a bubble in there and just resonating on top of the pickup and producing that feedbacking sound. It's not the body. I'll show you that. So I'm going to do that right now and then I'll just jam out a little bit and we'll have a good time. We'll go have lunch. We'll hang out. It'll be a great day. Okay. Distortion. <laughs> So that's that. <laughs> it was actually pretty fun uh, pushing these pickups into uh, microphonic feedback like that. So when I had my finger on the neck pickup, I could feel it vibrating. I could feel that uh, that that chrome cover vibrating, and I could push against it and actually feel like the vibration come in and out and go dead and then come back alive with my finger on it. It was a uh, pretty satisfying like tactile experience. So anyways, um, I do want to say that I like the sound of these pickups. That was the bridge. That was the neck. Here's the bridge again and in between because of course. I think they're really nice sounding pickups and it's a shame that they're microphonic. I think it really just is the chrome cover on these things. I have a decision to make. I can either replace the pickups or I can try to repair them. Some people in the Facebook groups have recommended removing the cover, which requires desoldering. The, the covers are soldered onto the edges uh, and then putting down, I think some like silicone in there and then putting back on and soldering them up and that fixes the microphonic nature of them. Um, I could try wax potting them there. If I get some wax in between the pickup and the cover, I'm sure it'll uh, kill that microphonic feedback or I could just remove the covers. I mean, there's a lot of options here, things I need to consider. I think I'm going to get it live before I make those decisions. Um, but yeah, like I said, I like the sound of the pickups. I think they sound just fine. This is another cheer combined with a jeer. <laughs> for this $140 guitar. Um, so now I need to decide, is this a buy, 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 or a buy, buy, buy? Uh, for 140 bucks, I feel like I can't tell anyone not to buy this guitar. But I also feel like I can't tell anyone to buy this guitar because there are clear issues. Um, I'd say that if you're someone who is fine doing a little bit of uh, work on a guitar, lubricating the nut, changing tuners, 
possibly changing pickups or making adjustments to pickups, this is a clear buy. I think it's a fun guitar. It's a great guitar to have around the house. It's a looker. I don't mind the headstock on it, even though it's a cheap brand. They have a decent looking headstock. But if you're afraid or not skilled or don't have the time or don't have the care to make adjustments to a guitar as far as tuners, greasing the nut, swapping pickups maybe, uh, stay away from it. That's what I'd say. Just don't buy it if you're not gonna do any work on these things um, because there is gonna be work involved to get this guitar gigable. Not a ton of work. Like you don't have to dress frets on this one. The neck is straight on the one that I got. I haven't seen anyone else say that the neck isn't straight on there either. So, I mean, that's the information. I hope it's helpful to someone. Uh, it's your money, make your own decisions. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with my purchase. Uh, and I'd probably replace this if it got stolen. So there's that. There is my wholehearted, honest review of this $140 guitar off of Amazon. All right, I'll jam something out here get crazy and weird, and uh, I'll see you in other videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude, nasty comments, click the bell, buy a shirt, you know the whole drill. Uh, visit the links down below for these guitars on Amazon, and uh, I'll see you in other videos. Stay grounded.